but there's no justifying mm-hmm. okay. what a hoe is for a man. Okay. It's a woman who has sex with a lot of parts. Yep. Yes! 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 No, I, it is not. I'm okay. I'm trying- no, it. Welcome to the JNO show. What we talk about things that we were never told them, J. And, and now you know. If you guys are new to our channel, please make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you can know when we upload because you never want to miss an episode. Also, if you guys are new here and you have ideas for show topics, go ahead and drop them down below in the comment section and write hashtag next show so that way we can easily filter through and give you more of what you want. What you want. All right, guys. So today, um, we're actually going to be reacting to Eight at the Table. They're Shout back. To them. Yeah, they're <laughs> back. Um, so we're going to be sh- oh, shouting out. We're going to be <laughs> reacting to one of their videos entitled, Can You Wife a Girl with the <laughs> Pass? Bruh. Good Girl Gone Bad. Okay, so this should be interesting. I don't know. Bruh, um, um, if you got a whole pass, you're a hoe. I don't. Can you wife a hoe? That's all we got to say. Like, we, we, we trying to be too correct, too politically correct. Like, nothing. I'm just let it go. Just push play. <laughs> Shot. Yo, chill. Let's go. Let's get it cracking. All right, shout to no hoes. Mm-hmm. No, no, I need all my hoes. No hoes. Oh, he told her, right. no I need ho- all no. my hoes, and I could get some more hoes. Come through, y'all. Mm-hmm. All right. y'all we outside. Love. This is some more blessings. Bruh. All right, so now that that's done, I'm going to say this. I'm going to leave y'all with this. Okay. Y'all can say what y'all want. Y'all can believe what y'all want. But now, as far as I'm concerned, y'all straight women, right? Mm-hmm. That means y'all seeking a man, and you want a man to seek you, right? Mm-hmm. You want the right man to seek you, not the one that keeps on playing you, right? Mm-hmm. So what I'm going to tell you to keep that man, mm-hmm. you cannot have an extensive whole past more, most of the time. A pass is a pass. Bruh. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Sorry, because what happened? Okay. So we ain't even gonna get that far. Um, <laughs> I paused because I had to catch what I was originally gonna say. And I had to reframe it, right? Because mm-hmm. this is a new Jermaine, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to be more... That's not true. Bruh. But look. <laughs> he tried it. I'm just trying. <laughs> I'm just trying. All right. A past is a past. Not true. Okay? And let me, I'll just give you the line. This is how humans are made. For those of us who maybe haven't, you know what? You probably haven't thought about it. A lot of times, these type of topics, we don't think about them. True. And you and I are in a unique position to talk about them so much, to be exposed to so much, that they become second nature to us, but everybody doesn't have these conversations, which That's is why a lot true. of people don't know. So I'm very not, true. you know, I really shouldn't kick people back in. It's just entertaining when I do. Bruh. So here's the thing about how humans are made, right? We have a very linear, meaning a path that we as humans take. And it's very simple. Thoughts become actions. Actions become habits. Habits become character. There's a line mm-hmm. as to how the, if you do something repeatedly, not only is it a habit, it becomes a part of who you are. Right. So a past is not just a past when you're talking about HOE behavior, mm. because that means you were doing something repeatedly. This is true. A HOE, whether man or woman, is not someone who just does something one time it's a repeated right. action to the point that it becomes habit or a part of character mm-hmm. and if anybody is talking about marriage because that's what we about we talk about marriage we talk about people that's trying to go long haul you know you ain't you ain't think about no divorce we ain't thinking about it mm-hmm. it's not even mm-hmm. an option mm-hmm. until things get too crazy Bruh. but yeah so when you're thinking about it, things in that term, I, yes, I have to be concerned with your past because it's going to dictate who you are, how you react to situations. True. 
that the things that happen to you in the past don't just one traumatic thing that happens in your past could change who you are for the rest of your life. Why do we think that doing things many times over isn't gonna have any effect? And they're, or they're all gonna be positive. Bruh. We, you have anything you wanna add to that? <laughs> no, I'm sorry I got distracted. We My slow. phone keep pinging. Okay. I'm sorry guys, it's been a long... Yes day slash weekend yeah it has been. <laughs> we're just getting back in you see how her face looks beat she'll uh, usually be looking beat like yeah this. my face my eyelash about to come off yeah. though so look don't judge me yes okay? <laughs> <laughs> so my eyelash is about to come off and everything has been a long day so what happened before you doesn't matter once i met you is what matters from then on you know what you know what happens before me matters you know why it matters why it because matters? it tells you what you're capable of we're talking about Wholeness. We're not talking about criminalness and nah, everything else. Nah. We're talking about wholeness. You know, wholeness. To me, it don't matter how many you slept with, who you slept with, what you slept with, what you did. That don't that don't matter to me. Just make me aware of so I don't look dumb in the presence yeah. of this. B That's about. I don't. It, it's not a criminal past. Bruh. So I mean, as long as it's not criminal, it's okay. <laughs> you can lie to me all day because that's not criminal. Mm -mm. As long as not. Bruh. Like. Do we actually like people say that because it sounds good, but oh. truth be told, y'all know that ain't true. For so, well, let me pause. Some women they might actually really rock with that and agree with that and be like, you know what, I don't really care what you did in the past because it ain't got nothing to do with me. Unfortunately, there is a double standard because it's been acceptable for guys to be hoes, Bruh. point hey, blank. Period. You know, here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing about that double standard. What? That double standard, watch this y'all, that double standard is women's fault. Bruh. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, because we make it okay. Yep. You as women, here's the thing. Women, you but, have the power. Women have the power. I am she. You decide the traits that make a man attractive. Yep. True. You decide that, not us. We don't decide that. We decide what makes a woman attractive. And regardless True. of how much women want to fight it, how much some men want to fight it, it's not up to the man to decide what makes him attractive to women. Yeah, it's no. up to the women collectively That's to decide true. that. So if women decided, yo, if you sleep with too many women because you can no longer pair bond with me, I'm not worried about. I'm not trying to get into a situation with you. Or let a woman say, if you've been with too many women, you're not getting these walls. Shut it down. The entire construct of what happens in relationships would change. Yep. Women have the power. Yeah. No, that makes sense. But I guess it's just been for so long because if if we go back to Bruh. BC <laughs> Very true days or what have you, that it's just always been that way. Very it, true. It's been acceptable because 100. it was just like, okay, well, you gotta find a man to take care of you. And if it's a well to do man, sometimes he might have several wives that he would be taking care of so it, it's kind of a thing that's been passed down that mm -hmm. it's been acceptable for yeah. guys to go out and do that mm -hmm. but not for women yeah but you're right that is something that i think women do have the power to control because we do determine what makes a male attractive in the marketplace so if we came together as women and be like yo have you been hoeing around or whatever like i don't want you right you know so yeah and trust me, y'all take away point. the walls, everything changes. Yeah. <laughs> Guarantee you that. Ready to go back in? Yeah. That's about it. So Besides that, I don't care about your past, who you, you slept with. That's childish. Especially if you didn't slept with the in high school. Now flip it. Now flip it. Yeah. Are you okay mm -hmm. with the man, and not saying that you did, but let's speak hypothetically. Mm -hmm. Are you okay with the man saying, you know what, it's cool. You slept with a hundred dudes, it's cool. Just let me know who they are. So whenever we're whenever we're backstage together, there's no issues. Let's I'm, be honest, I'm would you respect remember. would you respect that man that's willing to be around What a man is worried about the next No, it's not about he's not worried about the them. next man. I think I think we're getting to confused. Men are worried about see, if I like you, I treat you like a trophy. Mm -hmm. If I like you, I treat you like a trophy. Facts. 
I want to value you as a trophy. Mm -hmm. But you're not the same trophy if you got fingerprints from a thousand other dudes. You're not gonna. Y'all say that now, but then you have women like Kim Kardashian and so forth and so forth at the top. She, don't, I only know that she had sex with five people. I so my my regards. <laughs> my regards. There's only five five dudes I, I know. The <laughs> past don't matter, and if it do, you're childish as hell. I, I have a question for you. Where does that come from, though? The whole Kim Kardashian trashing her, and low key, as far as the world knows, she only been with like five, six, seven people. People just be hating That's not on her. Crazy. Just to hate on her. Like I, 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 I yes, yeah, she's disconnected and she's rich and she's not. Yeah, with it's us, because of the, she, it's because of how she got her name. But, yeah. So that was one person. Right. She was married what to Chris, to somebody else, and then Kanye. Is this her third marriage? Yep. Second or third. I, to be honest, I I, it was know. like Chris Humphreys. It was Reggie Bush. I don't think she was married to him, though. Oh, okay. But that was a big thing. It was Kanye. And it might have been somebody before Kanye. And now mm -hmm. she's Pete Davidson. And then, and then it was Ray J. So you got six, seven. That's, to me, in today's world, that's not a lot. No, it's not. I, where does that come from? I don't know. And maybe it's because people know about stuff outside of those big names but they make it seem like they've they've come across a hundred people that she messed with. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Guys, it's a little bit deeper, right? Mm -hmm. When it comes to what a hoe is, mm -hmm. what's a hoe, right? Mm -hmm. I want to throw in the word integrity in there. I'm gonna mm -hmm. tell you why. Now let's just say I know when I was younger, I used to hang out with mad girls people consider hoes. Mm -hmm. But I know that girl wouldn't f nobody around me. And right. She had principle and she had integrity. Right. That's, not a, That's not a hoe. People. That's, That's not a hoe. As, but as far as a stand-up, I didn't wife her because I, you know. Because she's a hoe. <laughs> no, that's not why. Because I'm I was not young. Why, yeah. I was young. Right. What I'm saying is that I, mean, yeah. she, I felt she was more trustworthy than a lot of the girls who were being good girls. Mm -hmm. Or fake yeah, good girls. Yeah, fake good girls. Yeah. Because you, you, the person was pretty upfront with you. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like, I bumped, in, I bumped into her one night, was out, and then my, my man was with me, and they said hi to each other. And I was like, oh, y'all know each other. She was like, you know I get down yeah. with this and that. I was yeah. like, oh, okay. She told me up front what's going on, but it wasn't my man, but somebody that I knew, right? So what I'm saying is like everything was always up front. Is it about integrity that makes somebody not home? Yeah. No. It's, it's, let me tell you something. I hear when men be like, oh, you know, I hear when y'all men be like, oh, you know, I hit it on the first night. She's a hoe. She's easy. No, that's like, I went on seven months with no sex. I'm like, the next man I meet, I'm going to go to a party. I'm a out of that. Yeah. <laughs> I met a lit guess what? I f it out. Yeah. Now you think I'm a hoe? Okay, that's fine. I don't really give a because I messed with him two years later because my f is good. I like, wouldn't have on the first night if I feel like it. I'm that's not a, a fact. hoe. I'm not f everybody on the first night. But if I feel the connection is there and I want to, f I'm a f whatever the f I ever think. You know, a hoe is somebody that I don't want. Like you said, don't have no integrity. They'll f anything. They'll get a one shot. Oh, I'm junk. No, I don't give my f away like that. Yeah. Like, I want to. And, I, and I'm gonna do it. I don't give a f what you think of it. Really. A hoe is somebody that just yeah, sleeps with people saying, no like, matter you, what. You, you, like, so quickly to judge. like no matter what. Like already. just I real think, easy. Like. I think you know what it is? I think women want to embrace sexuality so much that they're willing to disregard what a hoe really is. Yep. No. Like let me let me explain something what to you. Because really there's dude hoes and there's female hoes. Okay. Right? It, and integrity is only matter for the level of wholeness that somebody may possess. And I say somebody as in men and female, because now I'm going to have to be open with y'all because I feel like y'all just protecting the women wholeness. We're not protecting, We're not protecting anything. All right, so look, if you want to have sex today, right, mm -hmm. and it's cool, nobody's judging you because you want to have sex today. Mm -hmm. You want to have sex with this guy because he's lit and you found him and you stumbled across him. That's cool. Mm -hmm. But when it's becoming a consistent thing, and when it's becoming a habit is when you start to now lose self-morality and totality of what a wife is. Yep. See, like, y'all comparing hoes to single people. Single people don't compare hoes to that. Mm. I mean, no, my fault. Relationship people don't compare hoes to that. Relationship people compare hoes to a woman in a relationship. Mm. So if I'm looking at you as a wife, do you possess the characteristics as a wife in terms of your actions? Yep. I don't care about your integrity. Uh, I don't care about your your hiddenness. Your actions are gonna tell me. So what's so I what's the actions that tell you if she's a wife? Because yeah. I want to know. Yeah, because the same action. Because you're when you mention when I'm hearing you talk and you're mentioning wholeness, you're not just mentioning wholeness. You're mentioning women in general, the way that women. So Bruh. you're trying to say that. 
if you looking at her like a wife and she's married or whatever, you look at her like she's a wife. I can't, you don't expect her to go out, have fun, wear whatever she want to wear, booty shorts, this, that, and the third. So, like, what, what is the actions? But what, but, but, that, Rico, what is I, a I, hoe? Like, you, gotta, you, you have yet to hoe, answer that. Okay, uh, I'm going to make this real, real simple. Yeah, what is hoe? Uh, a hoe? A lot of people you ready? I, look, and I don't care. If, listen, mm-hmm. there is there is no... Judgment. No, no, no. I don't care about judgment. Right now, it's te- technically judgment. But there is no judgment. But there's no justifying mm-hmm. okay. what a hoe is for a man. Okay. It's a woman who has sex with a lot of parts. Yep. No, I, it is not. No, it. You have anything to? <laughs> I mean, I think he's he's touched on something when he said he thinks that women are trying so hard to make make their sexuality. Uh, what did he say? What's the word that he said just now? Basically, the whole feminist movement. You know the the whole being in touch with your sexuality and like it's okay and i want to be sexual and everything like that which is fine you know yay you know em- embrace your sexuality yeah you sexy and everything like that but that don't mean that you need to be having sex with everybody and i think that they're missing the whole point when he's like okay i'm telling you the definition of what a hoe is and it's a woman who basically sleep around with a whole bunch of dudes yep they don't want to hear that because they're like, okay, well, this is what y'all do, what guys do. And y'all, well, they didn't say this, but I guess the thought process is y'all are not considered hoes. You just sleep around. But you, like I said, it may be a double standard. Men and women can't do the same thing. Men really can't do that either because we talk about the whole pair bonding thing. Like that's still going to cause issues. That's still going to cause issues. But because it has been accepted by yeah women. accepted for so for centuries you know it's just kind of that is what it is it's lopsided it, it, it ain't right but it is what it is <laughs> and unless women as a whole across the world came together and kind of was just like you know what we need to stop letting it be okay for our men to just going around here and sleeping with a whole bunch of women and we just accept it and just like ah well you know they men they gonna do it it is what it is you know so that's a problem within itself but yeah, I feel like it just went over their heads. To to try to make it okay for you to be able to be out here and be sexually liberated without judgment and stuff like that. But first of all, judgment is for nobody to really hand you. You know, you got, you deal with that with the Lord if you believe in him or in all of that stuff. But it, as far as... All right, so let me help you out. Number one, um, we all judge each other and that's never going to change so us trying to act like we're going to just get rid of it and stuff like that and trying to be better and all of that it's like, it sounds good but nah at the end of the day <laughs> what men find attractive is what men find attractive you as women can go against it and butt against it and say no you can't do that no you can't do that all you want to it really doesn't matter what you say it matters what we say and as long as we are in agreement that these are the characteristics that we would want in a woman long term that's what it's going to be there's literally nothing you can do about it you can shame men you could do this and that what will happen is what has been happening we will not say it to you we'll say it in the barbershop behind our backs mm-hmm. And then when we go to pick, we won't choose you. We won't listen, marry you. Listen. We'll smash you. Some of us will be stupid enough to give you children. And then we'll leave you and you'll be another single mom. The problem is, on the flip side, women don't carry the same standard. As a matter of fact, when a man sleeps with a lot of women, a lot of women find that attractive. Bruh. All these women want you? Well, what it is, I want that too. But it's about provision, protection, because it's usually a certain type of guy. Hmm. A guy who shows confidence. A guy who's usually physically dominant. A guy who usually has means. Hmm. And because those are what's important to most women, those are the things that win. And when you have those things, you get away with a lot of stuff that you probably shouldn't. That cause other issues. But women don't go, you know what? You ain't going to be able to pay a bond. You don't really treat me well. You're not kind. You're not honest. You don't have duty, loyalty, honor, respect. I can't mess with you. But they go, oh, you know what? He got a nice car. He built right. He's six feet tall. Girl, I bet you he got a big thing. Let's go, girl. Yeah. Guys don't do that. They see the same things that you see. 
And they be like, ew. Ew. Mm. I'm good. Yeah. That's why the that's why the standards are different. And guess what? You ranting and raving and trying to shame men and having all these words for what they do and don't like doesn't change. matter. They're not going to change. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get some men to change in certain areas. Then you'll have the outliers that will like it regardless. Right. For the most part, it ain't gonna change. I'm sorry, but my vote is in. No, <laughs> you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. And we explained why earlier. And number two. I wouldn't want to. What about you? Can you turn the hoe into a housewife? And I'm talking about for you, for the men. No. And would you want to? Nope. All right, that sounds like it was it, guys. Please <laughs> like, comment, share, subscribe. Pass around the offer and pray. Would you have anything to offer to this conversation? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm spitting. I'm not spitting on you. Okay. Just, I'm sorry. I'm I, I spitting on you. She anything. looked too good to be getting spit on. Okay. Oh. So. <laughs> anything? Um. Yeah, no, I just... I just feel like we need to stop lying to ourselves. Like, just stop. Bruh. We're in, we're like, we're in a space now. And I will admit certain things that are, that men have been saying, whether it's from the manosphere or just men in general that have been speaking up about different things that are hard to hear for us as women when it comes to certain things. It's just like, we need to take our emotions out of it and really hear what's being said. Because if we're really looking to be in relationships, if you have a lot of guys, and I'm not talking about douchebags, but like if you have decent dudes that are basically saying the same thing over and over again, like they're trying to tell you, like my, my dude here, Rico, like he's like trying to have a, you know, level-headed conversation. He's just like, I'm trying to tell you, like as dudes, if you got all these bodies, we don't want to wife you up. So why are you arguing that fact? It's like men hold the key to relationship, women hold the key to sex. It's that simple. So if you want to be in a relationship and guys hold the key to that and they're telling you in order for them to be in a committed relationship with you, this is what they don't want, then you can't turn around and say, but no, this is what, that don't mean, uh, no. Just like if it's something that you want from a dude, if you're looking for certain things from a guy, like you would be looking at guys crazy if they came and told you, well, no, you can't have that or no, it shouldn't be that way. Cause you're just like, no, well, this is what I expect or what I need from a guy. It's the same thing. But anyway, I see our battery's about to die. Video's running long. I hope you guys got something from this. We'll talk to you guys in the next go round. Till then, deuces. Press the off button. <laughs>